Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT. Nah, I might the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. All right. TNT. Yo. Tiny homes. Okay. What, what, what are we talking about now? Well, like Barbie guess, houses. You want a Barbie house? I guess the first question is, would you live in a tiny house? I mean, I'm not super familiar with like the layout. I'm a big guy, so I need a little bit more space, like, you know, just like tall and height wise. But yeah, I mean, I feel like I could I mean, do you hang out in, in like one general room most of the time anyway. Okay. Like, like if that was if like, but you, no, I don't mean that in a way. I mean, like you could live. <laughs> I could see you living in a studio apartment with a, that has a bathroom and one room I and feel, you would be like, I'm good. Yeah. I mean, we, we essentially, I feel like most people live between three, four rooms anyway. Like, what do you really need besides, like, a place to sit and, like, watch TV, play your games, a place to sleep, and a place to cook? Yeah. Place to F. Yeah. It's the same place you yeah. sleep. Yeah, and you need a bathroom. So, so four, four rooms is really all you do need. So I saw an article online yeah. showing that Amazon sells pop-up tiny homes. Okay. And, they, and at first they said there were $30,000, and I was like, that still sounds like a pretty good deal. Okay. Right now on Amazon, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can buy a nineteen by twenty, nineteen foot by twenty foot, nineteen with a ba- foot. with a bathroom, pop up included in the nineteen by twenty. Yeah, like the little bathrooms included. Thirteen thousand nine hundred dollars. Nineteen by twenty. Nineteen by twenty. So twenty feet by essentially twenty. Twenty by twenty by twenty. How big is twenty feet, man? It's uh our our bedrooms here are th- I think are like twelve by twelve or fourteen by fourteen. Uh, so it'll be like six foot longer by six. I foot gotta longer. I gotta see what twenty feet look like. Let, um, let me get a tape measure. You tell me more about the home. So <laughs> so all right. Grab so, a tape measure. so I'm watching the tape measures in the drawer in the kitchen. Okay, good. It's That's easy access. Fine. Yeah, yeah. That. Okay, so it basically comes and it is like, it's like a box and it, you drop it down and then like two wings come up for a roof, two wings go down for the floor and then they slide out and then they like, they like, um, caulk it. (laughs) Of course, of course. And then it has windows, it has doors, it has like the, the bathrooms, its own little room. I mean, bro, we I'd have to actually see. What go to is. go to Amazon.com. Uh, all right, look, we're on the video. I will actually do that. Yeah, exactly. So go go I to want my Amazon information to come. No, up. just go, just go tiny how ha- tiny home Amazon, and then oh, you don't yeah, have to look. Yeah, yeah, tiny yeah. Tiny home kit Amazon. There, it's one of those. Yeah, like All just right. let me one. No, go down, go down. Like the one down there, the first result. I know. I have this. I have this tape measure in my hand. So essentially, they don't set it up. You. It says you still need to hook up. What do you need to hook to it? Um, it is go down. So these are them. No, go down. I'm going down. It's not going down. I already know that. Like that. No, like this thing. Yeah, like that thing. So it is, uh, it says you still need to hook uh, up. I don't know, man. It's a, but like it, it opens up. You still need to hook up. It, there's a toilet, a shower, a sink, and a bathroom. It does not include other furnishings. It doesn't include electrical circuits. When you still have to hook up like, uh, plumbing and, uh, hey, and that, stuff like that. That costs a lot, man. Yeah, but you get a whole house for thirteen thousand dollars. Yeah, but you're living in twenty a... by twenty container home, bro. They're... You're living in a box. Aren't we living in a, a, a everything? Everybody living in a box. Yeah, I mean, for real, you're living in a box. I don't know. I mean, look. I mean, um, yeah. Uh, mm. If you want to live off the grid, you call up Jeff Bezos. He brings you a GD little home. You unfold it. You put some caulk on it. You have Daddy Texas come out and hook up a flipping electrical circuit, and you good. Like, I remember, 
like uh, that little road in Ashtabula. You remember that area where the they, little road in Ashtabula? Yep. You, you, you'll know what I'm talking about. The one we used to speed down. A friend lived on it, and he had well water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, the whole reason is that the city expects you to pay for plumbing, but a lot of times, if the whole road doesn't pay for it, they won't provide just your house with it. So I'm thinking, not only do you need the tiny home, not yeah. only do you need the money for that, but you need to purchase the land to put it on as well. Well, right. Here, then, you keep talking. I'm going to hold the tape measure so you can see what 20 foot and is. And then when you put the... Uh, that's not necessary, but sure. <laughs> this thing only goes to 20... It only goes to 12 feet, man! You got the small one? I got the tiniest one possible, man. I was wondering. Anyway. I mean, there's but two I, of them in there. One of them goes 20, one goes 12. I, I, I often wonder, like... Do people really think it's like, is it the house that costs the most or is it the land that costs the most? And I have to say is that depending on the area you live in, sometimes it's the land. Yeah, but like if you got a friend who can put like a little 2020 on their backyard, a little 20 twin twin. And the thing is, is that you're finding land that doesn't have a building already on it. Does it already have the plumbing hookup? Sure, it may be like an easy fix, but we're looking at the cost of the land, which is going to be, if not more than the cost of a tiny house, comparable. So we're doubling our cost already. Cost of the hookup, maybe like a quarter more added onto there for that. Yeah, you're still talking a hundred k or less. <sighs> exactly. For, but like twenty feet is probably the whole room we're in. Okay. And then it's that much wide as well. It's like an efficiency house. It's an efficiency. It's bigger than a studio apartment. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because, I mean, it would be like what we have sitting up right here, and then you have enough room that way to put, like, a bed, and there's a little, like, small, probably th five by five portion of it that is a bathroom that has a toilet and a sink and a stand-up shower. Yeah, yeah, and like a, a, an apartment versus a studio apartment, a house versus a studio house. It's like just a smaller house, has all the amenities, I guess. Yeah, but, I mean, if you're trying to buy a house in Austin, you spend, like, 400K. You can spend hundred k out in the woods. I don't know if I necessarily want to be the guy. You get guy. a bucket. You get some. You know what I mean. I don't know if I want to be the guy living in the box in Austin. <laughs> Everybody else is. I don't you can split be that it guy. with somebody, dude. I'm not splitting a twenty foot room. What's <laughs> imagine? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, man? Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Just that like, it's, put a sheet. <laughs> I was going to say a shower curtain, but I love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, put a work. sheet up. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, bro, have a lady over later. All right, All right. I'll be quiet. All right, I'm going to chill in my room. <laughs> <laughs> There's just like a clothesline. Bro, no. Dude, let's do it. it let's get one. Absolutely not. Come on, man. Don't you got like 14K to throw one? We'll you put know, it in the parking lot. I'm more offended that you said, come on, man, in this situation than you did in a, in a different situation. What situation didn't I do it? I, dude, if you said it to me during an orgy, I'd be like, that's weird. If you say it to me now, I'm like, I don't like it. <laughs> what? During an orgy? Never, never mind. Wait, anyway, <laughs> I don't so know where my brain goes. That's a deep That's a deep joke. Yeah, I, I, uh, I did it for that one. All right? I... They would, can't all land. I'd consider living in a tiny... A lot of tiny houses are like 10 by 10. They're really small. I'm good. And they have like a stacking. Like I'm not. I'm not in all that because it's like it's like your bed is your bed. Plus, like you pull out a thing and it becomes a desk. And then you like you like get up in the top and you have like two foot on the top where you sleep. And if you sit up too fast, you smack your face on the ceiling. It seems like a lot of like like a lot of skill checks. You know, <laughs> your whole life is a skill. Your check. whole life is a skill. It's like a lot of dexterity and skill checks. You got to pay like a live. lot of attention to what you're doing. Exactly. Are you going to bang your toe or trip over something or end up falling from your Fall bunk through bed? the wall? Because it's yep. like it's like paper mache. Put your hand through your table. Yeah, exactly. Um, you better watch out. You're going to fuck up your bed and your chair and your washer. Yeah. It's all the same thing. <laughs> I don't know. I, I actually I've looked into some of the tiny houses and I have to admit that they do look neat. It's it's crazy how much room is actually accessible in such a small space, but like I'm, I don't like I'm good. Like what, speaking of, I think we were talking about my divorce last episode. <laughs> I was living. I rented a room from somebody, and like that made me understand tiny living, right? Like yeah. because I literally had a bed, a chair, a desk, a desk chair, 
a TV stand, my TV, and like a little bookcase that I kept like a few things on, and then my clo- a small closet with like my clothes. Mm-hmm. And I literally had about three foot by three foot in the middle of the room that was like open that I could walk around in. Other than that, every inch of that shit was covered with my furniture, and it worked. I, mean, I, had to, I had to measure it, and I got like a little checkered graph box to make sure everything would fit before I moved it because I needed certain things like work and have a chair to sit in, yada, yada. And I was like, oh, I could do this. Did I like it? Nah. <laughs> no, nah, I like having some space. Like, yeah. I don't need a 3,300-square-foot house, but you know what? 1,200 square feet's pretty nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like, I'm, I'm good on the tiny living. Like, yeah. I want a separate room for my bed. I don't care if the room literally just has my bed and a nightstand in it. It's it's so crazy because when I when I did live alone, I would generally just like sleep in the living room. Well, yeah, <laughs> I mean it's all your bedroom. Yeah, and I had like a full bed, I had like a king size bed, and I just wouldn't even. I would just sleep on the couch. You're just like, hey, I'm not going. It. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like yeah. whatever. Yeah. yeah, I would eat in the living room, sleep in the living room, watch TV, play games, and yeah, it was just like it was my bedroom. If you li- if you live alone, you really don't need more than just a room. That's the thing is that tiny homes might be good for somebody. I just don't know if I. Could I don't do know, it. man. Everything's expensive. You know what I like? <laughs> you know what I like? A free gym, a free pool, somebody to like, you know, cut the grass. All based Con- on the rent. Condo, apartment. Condo. Condo. Marie Condo. Condo. What brings you joy? All right. That's all that we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we are out.